Welcome back to Explain YouTube channel. Get this. Google is spending 75 billion dollar on AI in this year. That is mind blowing amount of money, more than some countries make in a year. What are they up to? Something huge, something strange. That's definitely going to affect us. I have been on a mission to find this out, talking to expert, reading everything, even getting some whispers inside the industry. And here's the thing, Google isn't just playing around with AI. They are going all, all in. in, trying to fundamentally reshape themselves. That sounds crazy, right? Let's unpack it. First, let's get one thing straight. Google is all in on AI. I'm talking about $75 billion of investment in 2025 alone. That's not some pocket change, folks. That's building a new reality kind of money. And where is it going? It starts with their AI first approach. Remember when Google was just a search bar? That's ancient, right? But now AI is baked into everything that Google sells. Search is smarter understanding your intent more than just your keywords. For example, Google uses BERT and MUM, their key transformer models that enhances its search capability by understanding your intent 7% more. And YouTube? It knows what you want to see even before you type. That's sometimes creepy, right? But is it effective? Absolutely. YouTube's recommendation system drives over 70% of the watch time. And get this, Google Lens turns your camera into a genius. Try it. Seriously, point it at anything, maybe a light, maybe an animal or an insect, and it will blow your mind. Google Lens can now recognize 15 billion objects. But here's where the things get interesting. Google isn't just improving the existing product. They are changing the way we search. They are building the future of how we interact with information. And that future looks a lot less like typing and a lot more like talking or even thinking. I am talking about agentic AI. Basically, it means AI that doesn't just answer your question, but it does things. It manages your schedule, books your travel, and maybe even run your small business. Think of it as a super power digital assistant that knows your need even before you do. Some of the early examples include Google Duplex that can make a call on behalf of you and make a reservation for a couple. Hi, I'm calling to book a woman's haircut for a client. Um, I'm looking for something on May 3rd. Sure, give me one second. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now, what is the brain behind these AI advancements? So there are two pillars that we have in Google. The first is Google's DeepMind and the second is Google Research. Google DeepMind is the team you remember, right, that created AlphaGo. AlphaGo beat Lee Sedol. 4-1 in 2016. But here's the thing, Google is not just alone in this race. They are up against some serious competitions. Microsoft is pouring billions into OpenAI. Microsoft has already invested $10 billion in OpenAI at majority stake. Amazon is using AI to power everything from Alexa to its cloud computing business. Artificial intelligence like machine learning powers the simplicity that we always want to offer to our customers. And then there are smaller companies like Perplexity AI that are trying to reinvent the search with the help of AI. They are smaller, yes, but they are growing very fast, even 50% faster than the Google ad business. That sounds like trouble, right? Only time will tell. Perplexity AI is seeing significant growth in its user base, indicating a rising interest in AI-powered search alternatives. Is it a serious problem? Maybe, because Google still has 90% dominant in the search market with its competition like DuckDuckGo, Bing, and others. So what is Google's advantage in this field comparing to tech giants like Microsoft, Amazon, and even small companies like Perplexity? The key power is the data that Google has. Google has billions and billions of data of every individual who uses Android or even their other products. And in the world of AI, data is the king. These mountains of data are used to power the large language models that Google has been building. Google processes 8.5 billion searches per day. They have data from Gmail, YouTube, Google Maps, Android and more. Not only software, Google is also into hardware by creating their own TPU, which powers their own Google cloud computing business, which has AI services like Vertex AI. It is direct competition to AWS and Azure. Although smaller in percentage of the customer base, but still it is going faster with focus on cost efficiency. In 2024, GCP had 11% of the cloud share compared to AWS 31% and Azure 25%. This is not all. Google also has another very subtle advantage, the advantage of 
best minds in the world. Google's culture that attracts the best mind in the world have been pushing boundaries on AI for decades. They are working into multimodal AI, agentic AIs, enterprise search, AI powered customer experience and AI for security. But there are ethical questions swirling around all of this. How do we prevent biases in these AI system? How do we protect users privacy? How do we make sure Google AI is used for good and not for well, you know? is going on trial today in a lawsuit that could change the way big tech companies do business. That's because the Justice Department and more than a dozen states accused the company of illegally limiting your online sh uh, search options. That, of course, something Google strongly denies. However, the challenges remains. Addressing bias is a hard problem because their large models are trained on large amount of data of the real world. And in real world, biases exist. So these models also learn from these data and get these biases. So where is it heading? I believe Google is betting on a future where AI is seamlessly integrated on every aspects of our life. A future in which we interact with technology in a much more intuitive and natural way. A future where AI helps us solve the world's biggest problems, from climate change to diseases. But it's also a future that could be, frankly, a little scary. A future where we are even more reliant on technologies, where our privacy is constantly at risk, where the line between humans and machine gets blurry. So what do you think about Google's AI strategy after this deep dive? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. But remember this, Google is just one player in this rapidly escalating arm race. We have already explored Apple's AI strategy, links to which is in the description. And then next we are deep diving into Microsoft's plan. Let me tell you, it's the battle for AI supremacy. To get the complete picture of how AI is reshaping our world and how it will impact your life, you cannot miss this series. Subscribe now and join the conversation.